cards and she just asked me if I would put a few together and here they are. Um, I have five total. There's three different designs and I'm just um, going to show you a little bit how they uh, correspond with their envelopes. Right like that. Number one. Number two is also did a cutout as well as an embossed top and their this coordinating envelope has the diamonds there's this one and as well we have a cutout and an embossing technique for these two cards and a coordinating envelope thank you Okay, so I named this bundle Desiree after the good friend that I'm making it for. And I just wanted to take you through a little bit of the process. You see these really aren't put together yet. They have them kind of organized in stacks as to what goes with what. And then I'm going to glue it on. And I have nice envelopes that I did with um, the inlet. This one has little diamonds for the card that has the squares on it. And I did the little flower inlet. And I'll put the white in the background so it will see through, so you'll be able to see it on the flower card. So here we go. First envelope has score lines. We'll fold it on those. Make sure to crease those well. If you have a bone folder, you might want to use that. Right now, I'm just going to do a quick crease to show you how that fits together. You can find all of my envelopes and card designs at katherinemaryshop.etsy.com. And so that folds up like that. And I'm going to put the adhesive right on the sides of this flap. Put that on. So if you just put your adhesive right on the edge, you'll have better luck getting your card in there. So that just goes together like that. And if you put the sides of it in that way, everything comes together. And I think I will do this card right here. So we will do the thank you on top of the circle first. And that just needs a little bit of adhesive. So I'm going to use the glue stick. Like that. And on the back of this one. And it doesn't have to be perfect. You can give it your own little touch. And this one goes on top of the card. Just get a piece of the corners of this piece. To show you how that all comes together. Right in the middle. Fasten that on and then back of your thank you note to the middle. And there we go. 
you know, if you're real fancy, you can take a piece of um, double-sided foam tape and raise this part up. But you don't need to if you don't want to, and it works perfectly like this. This is the um, background is a cutout, and the ink inside is a blue and a purple, and I use the sponge tool with the Distress Ink. all set.